The Chattanooga women were looking to get back in the win column after a tough loss to Samford on Thursday. The Mocs were back at McKenzie Arena hosting Mercer in a Saturday SoCon showdown. Chattanooga in search of win number 10 on the year. First quarter, Yaz Bazeared in. Drives baseline, passes to Sigrun Olofstadter, who gives it to Raven Thompson, who knocks down the triple. And let me tell you right now, that is so Raven. It's the future she can see. This girl, only a freshman, 19 points in the first half for her. Final seconds of the second, Abby Cornelius connects with Yaz in the paint. She goes in for the close range basket, takes her own board and picks up two points. Chattanooga with a 34-22 lead at the break. Bears start chipping away in the third. Amori and Neil Tizer drives down center, lays it up and in and gets the chance for a three point play. Angelina Gonzalez goes absolutely nuts in the second half. 22 points in the third and fourth quarters. She could not miss as Mercer eliminates any deficit. Now I know what you're thinking, the Mox have been in this spot so many times this season, but let's talk about the absolute guts from Raven Thompson on this play. Steals the ball away, wide open, drives, puts it up and in, plus she draws the foul. Unbelievable. Ties the game at 54. We go to overtime tied at 58, but Chattanooga is a completely different team in the final five. So energized, full of life, clicking on all cylinders. They score 20 points in OT and top the Bears 78-70. to 70. We executed as good as we have in the most crucial five minutes of our season. Um, I think today is a pivotal game. You know, we lose that one. I don't know where we go. I really don't. You know, we can keep saying we're so close, so close, but at some point you need to see a result. How we executed that last five minutes, that's who we can be. It's kind of deja vu, that last media timeout. Seems like we've been there a million times, but we came out in overtime, like some hot pockets, and just hit everything we threw up, it seemed like. Like hot pockets, the Mox moves to two games over 500. And 2-1 and one in SoCon play. The girls will now hit the road to face Wofford on Thursday.